Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is another episode of the world famous The University Love. The best podcast, ladies and gents, in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. <coughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something important. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about why buy the cow when the milk is free. Ladies and gentlemen, and when I say that, I mean do not give everything in your business away for free. Don't get all, don't give all your information away for free. Don't do this. Don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in a pain situation ladies and gentlemen you want customers that's gonna pay you hard earned cash baby you want to make money you're not here for charity i mean charities make money for goodness sake so ladies and gents when i first started my online journey there was a lot of people i was saying give back give value robots Give value, give value, give value, this, that, the other, you know. Give it to them for free, give it to them for free, give it to them for free, and then eventually they'll pay. And um, to me, that didn't make any sense. And because how I grew up, where I grew up, nothing was free. It was, hey, you want to help me do this, you want to help me do that, you know. Uh, somebody would buy. Somebody would buy your soda. Somebody would, you know, uh, you know. Let's say you help them, you. You say, hey man, you know, let me help you mow your yard. You know, they give you a couple bucks. You would rake some leaves. You would get, you get a few bucks. There was always something in it for you. You know, I'm not saying, hey, you know, like, um, if you had, if you call your friend up and say, hey friend, uh, could you help me move? Are you are you gonna not buy your friend pizza? That's the least you're gonna do, right? Of course. So there's something in it for your friend, you know. There's a gift. There's a something. It, it's not necessarily just free. You, now you might go to the movers and they might charge you five hundred bucks or five thousand bucks. But your friend, hey man, two pizzas and a soda. Thanks, you know. But that's something. And these people were always telling me, give things away for free. Give things away for free. And I thought to myself, that sounds ridiculous. Why would I give stuff away for free? And so I've been thinking this week about, you know, what kind of books I want to start writing and, you know, how much I want to price them for, this, that, and the other. And uh, I remember I was reading a quote by uh, Robert Kiyosaki, you know, and he was saying he he was getting interviewed in, I believe he was in Taiwan or he was in Korea, maybe, somewhere like that. And he was interviewing this, and this young lady was interviewing him. And the young lady said, I wish I could write books, blah, blah, blah. And he told her, you should take a selling course, you know, to promote your books and stuff like that. And she got offended. And he told her, he said, I'm not a writer. I'm, I'm a best-selling author, you know. He, he's, basically, what he was saying was he said, hey, I sell a lot of books. I'm not necessarily the best writer in the world, but I sell a, a, a ton of books. And she was highly offended that somebody that, because she, she graduated from college, as he put it, that she, he was offended that he would tell her to take a selling course and she thought selling was dirty and this, that, and the other. But, you know, everybody is selling to everybody. I'll give you an example. Let's say me, me and you... And another guy, we got another friend. They, we all three work in the warehouse. One of us has a car, okay? One of us has a car, and, and all three of us want to go get lunch. The two people with no cars, you know, the, the guy that's driving, he don't care where he goes for lunch. The two people that, that doesn't have the car, they, 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 they want to go the polar opposites. One, one wants tacos, the other one wants chicken, you know what I'm saying? And so they're gonna they're gonna go up. They're naturally gonna go. Up. It's not a bad thing, but they're naturally gonna go up to the guy with the car, and they're gonna say, "Man, you really want to go get tacos again, man? We just had tacos the other day. 
Man, it's that new chicken. It's this new chicken joint on the other side of town, man. We can go over there, man. Shit, man. You know, if I, if if you go over there, I'll pay you, man. I'll pay for yours, man. You know? And the guy like, oh, interesting. You gonna pay for mine? Okay. And then he gonna, he's gonna, uh, uh, quite naturally, he's gonna start leaning towards the chicken place. But the guy that wants the tacos is gonna come over there. He's gonna sell his pitch. And the whole time they're not thinking about it, but they're selling, you know. And Whenever my wife talks to me about taking a trip, she's selling. Whenever I talk to my wife about me taking a nap on the couch, I'm selling, you know? <laughs> we are all in the business of selling to each other. We are all in the business of selling. So there's no crime. There's no, you know, bad thing that if you sell somebody a book, if you sell somebody a PDF, and there's no crime. We have to, You have to get out of this mentality. There's no crime if you sell it, if, if you sell it at a higher price. Let's say you don't want to be one of these. Now, every book every book ain't going to be a 1,000 books. Every book ain't going to be 500 books. Every book ain't going to be $100. Some books you write, you might want to just... Some books are actually good for like, okay, 10 bucks. Let me get your email address. And you have the email address, you have 10 bucks. You know, It's not about the money. It's about collecting the email address. So some books are going to be low price. But... You can have a couple books in that that you sell for a higher price, you know, if you think they're if you think it's worth it. Plus, look, listen. Um, I got this from my guy Ben Settle. He said, "Would you rather have a hundred dirty pennies or four shiny quarters?" You know, and what that means is, the hundred dirty pennies is great and all. That's customers, but those are the freebie. Those are the ones that always want everything free. You know. Ah, uh, give me something free, and then I might buy from you know. Those are people like my brother. My brother, he will, he will always try to get something free out of you, you know. And he will keep pulling and pulling and pulling, and then you'll give him something for free. Then he'll be back. If you say, hey, next time that's a 50, 50 bucks, he won't ever come back. But if you say, ah, man, if you go through the same song and dance with him again, and he gets you again, he, he's not gonna pay, you know. Um, it's just how it is. So, do you want customers that's always sick and free? No. Um, you want people that's going to be receptive. You want people that's going to be active, you know. And there's many ways you can go about it, you know. Um, I, I, I know there's, there's another guy named Sean De, D'Souza. You know, I've read, I guess, some of his emails. And he talks about you want customers that... Not only are you going to read your stuff, but go through it. And that's a good point because you want people to go through, you want people to go through your stuff. You want people to, to be really gung-ho about it. So then if they tell the next person, they'll see the enthusiasm from that person. They're like, hey, let me go check this guy out. Will it work every single time? No, but referrals are great, you know. Um, selling, period, is great. You should always be in, in the... You should always be selling something, you know, giving some, selling something, directing them to somewhere, you know, you should, you should always be doing that. And uh, because I thought about this, writing this PDF book, you know, um, I'm not going to give away nothing, but I say, you know what, I'm going to sell it for $200 a pop. And I have a laundry list of uh, ideas that I'm going to write down and tell some stories and, and write a book. And the approach is going to be, you rather spend $200, $200 on this book than dot, dot, dot on, you know, what the subject is going to be. And I think I have emails lined up. And so the, I need to just fast forward and write this book. And um, it will be a great example of selling something at a premium price. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to sell everything for everything. Don't Everything ain't got to be Tiffany prices. But everything don't have to be Kmart prices as well. You can mix it up. You know, you're going to have some high ticket things, some low ticket things. The point is, the faster you go, you want to generate, you want to start generating income as quick as possible. Um, the, the quicker you generate income, the more confidence you'll get. And one thing about this whole thing, confidence is very important no matter what you do. Whether you're a baseball player, you're an actor, you work at the dock. You uh, work at the movie theater. It does not matter what you do. It does not matter. You want to be, you want to be on top of things. You want to feel special. You know what I mean. So, um, do that. You know what I'm saying. And um, ladies and gentlemen, 
sell, sell, sell. No, and you, but you want to. Um, I lost my train of thought. But you want to be on top of things, and you want to be getting as many email addresses as possible, and you want to be selling multiple products. The quicker you can shoot them out there, the better off you will be. You know, because the first sale, the second sale, you start to get confidence, and then you can really start rocking and rolling. The problem is sometimes you get stuck in neutral so long, you just give up. You go, oh man, but it's that day. If you would have just kept rocking back and forth, you could have shot out, you know. So never give up. Always keep rocking back and forth and uh, get yourself out the mud and uh, everything will be okay. And just remember, high ticket, low ticket does not matter what your niche is, does not matter if you're on the YouTube, the writing, the podcasting, does not matter. Everything. Drive everything to an app drive everything to a website drive everything to your podcast drive them somewhere you know and uh, I, I got another piece of advice never make people do like two things at once so if they listen to the podcast don't be pitching you know the hundred things you got say hey at the end of the podcast you start building you start building a podcast say hey go to you know joeblow.com to find all the t-shirts all the links all the articles and you know, you, the, the more active your website is, the better Google likes it and the more Google will rank it higher and higher, you know. So, there you go. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We will be back um, maybe tomorrow, but definitely Monday with the all-new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.